In this lesson, we're going to look at uh, the metrics again, but this time we're going to take a, uh, a look at mass. Uh, again, a little uh, conversion, or which is larger, English versus metric units. One pound or 100 grams. And one pound is actually much bigger. One pound is 454, if you want to round it up, grams. One kilogram or one pound. Again, if we know our prefix is kilo, Kilo means 1,000, so we're probably looking at 1,000 grams or one pound. And sure enough, 100 kilograms is 220 pounds, so a kilogram is going to be bigger here. Uh, the next one is one ounce or 100 milligrams. And one ounce of gold is about 28,350 milligrams. So from there, let's take a look at the metric units. Uh, mass, as we know, refers to the amount of matter in an object. And the base unit in the metric system is the kilogram. A lot of people want to say the gram, and we're going to be using grams quite a bit. But the kilogram is the base unit. And the kilogram is equal to the mass of the international prototype kilogram kept in, uh, in France. And uh, you know, that's where all the... the, all the big time scientists will go to get exact measurements. Uh, the units we're going to use for, for uh, metric in mass, we're going to look at three in particular. The kilogram, again kilo meaning 1,000, is 1,000 grams. And then one gram equals 1,000 milligrams. Uh, let's look at our symbols here. A kilogram is a km. Uh, grams are lowercase g, and milligrams are mg. Uh, you've probably seen milligrams before, um, you know, in vitamins, uh, Excedrin, different uh, pain pills, uh, aspirin, are typically measured in milligrams. Uh, from there, let's look at, see which one is larger. One kilogram, or a thousand grams, or 1500 grams. Well, fairly obvious that it's going to be 1,500 grams here. Here we've got 1,200 milligrams or one gram. Well, we know one gram is 1,000 milligrams, so I'm kind of guessing it might be 1,200 milligrams. And sure enough, it is. Uh, next one, we're looking at 12 milligrams, which is a very, very small unit, or 12 kilograms, which is very, very large. And so I would probably guess it's going to be 12 kilograms here. And the next one is 4 kilograms, or 4,000 grams. Again, kilo, prefix meaning 1,000. 4 times 1,000 is 4,000, or 4,500 grams. And we're probably looking at 4,500 grams. So those are the ones we're going to use for the most part in our class. Uh, when we measure mass, uh, this is using a, a, a triple beam balance here. And we have these in class. We're going to try to use electronic balances as much as we can, but you know we may have to revert to the uh, to the old uh, triple beam balance. It says the objects are placed on the scale, and then you move the weights on the beams until you get the lines to the right side of the scale to match up. And you'd like to get this zero to match up here. It says once you have balanced the scale, you add up the amounts on each beam to find the total mass. So you're going to move these sliders, and there are three. The top one's in tens, uh, this middle one's in hundreds, and this one is in, in grams and tenths of grams. And you've got to make sure they click in to these little notches here. You don't want them sitting halfway in between. And then it's a, a pretty easy thing to just go ahead and, and measure uh, what, what the mass would be. So it looks like the arrow's pointing to 300, so we've got 300 grams plus 70 so here's our 70 grams here and this one is three looks like about 3.4 grams and so then our total would be 300 plus 70 plus 3.4 equals 373.4 grams again we're probably going to try to use the electronic balances as much as possible but there may be occasions where we're going to use this one and that is another TSR production